Hello, this is problem number four in the exam to review. And it has ugly big numbers. I don't think I like that. Our A number is going to be 10. Our B number is going to be 39. And our C number is negative 27. And I'm going to use the quadratic formula. So here we're looking for the letter A, but ignore that. We've got negative B plus or minus the square root of B squared minus 4AC all over 2A. So we will have negative 39 plus or minus the square root of 39 squared minus 4 times 10 times negative 27 all over 2 times 10. OK. Now comes the trusty calculator. We are going to turn it on. Perhaps. There we go. OK, I'm going to clear that. I'm going to say 39 squared minus 4 times 10 times negative 27. And I'm going to say Enter. It's 2601. So I'll have negative 39 plus or minus the square root of 2601 over 2 times uh, over 20 which is 2 times 10 all right let's see if there's a square root of 2601 so second x square 2601 enter and there is yay all right so we're going to have 39, oh, negative 39 plus or minus 51 over 20. So one of our zeros is going to be negative 39, or I should say solution, I guess, minus 51 over 20. That will be 9 plus 1 is 10. Carry the 1. 8 plus 1 is 9. We'll have negative 90 over 20 which will be negative 9 over 2. And let's see, negative 39 plus 51. I am going to use the calculator for that. Negative 39 plus 51, 1. Enter. That'll be 12. So we'll have 12 divided by 20. And you can math frac that if you're unsure how to reduce. 2 goes into 12 6 times. 2 goes into 20 10 times. I didn't do that completely, so I'll do it again. And that's OK. 2 into 6 is 3. 2 into 10 is 5. And I should have. Um, divided both by 4 to begin with, but no harm done. So 3 fifths will be the other solution. Let's see if that's right. The solutions are. Um, let's say 3 fifths. Well, no, my math lab likes the negative answer first. Let's keep it happy. Negative. 9 over 2, comma, fraction tool, 3 fifths. Ah, bravo for us.